Well, out there to you in this problem, uh, we're thinking about something called the gains of trade. Okay, so a little different terminology than what uh, a lot of classes will use. So in this scenario, uh, gains of trade is just a way of quantifying both the consumer and producer surplus. So if you get something like that, you just the total gains of trade are going to be adding up the consumer surplus and the producer surplus okay so this problem is a little more um i guess a uh, little little different just because it's it's a it's a abstract graph with a bunch of values on it and then you're given the values below okay so what you can do is just fill in uh what you need to know so if we were this particular problem we've got some prices uh, we've got some widget market here good x and we've got an equilibrium price of 15 and Q0 is uh, 100, okay? And then Q star, I don't think this one tells us what Q star is. So let's say that it did. Uh, if you wanted to figure out the total gains of trade and like Q star was say 500, then consumer surplus going to be the area of this triangle here that's consumer surplus and then the producer surplus would be the area of this triangle here and if you add both of those together that's the total gains of trade in the total market okay now what this question is asking though so this question is actually saying what is the 100th unit exchange if trade takes place at the equilibrium price? So um, we got to find where that is. That's Q0 is 100. So just go ahead and write that right there. Then let's fill in the rest of what we're looking for here. So P0 is 8. So we'll put that right there. Um, that's called the reservation price. Uh, it's the minimum price that the producers would need to see in the market in order to produce anything. Okay. And then... P uh, star here, P star is 15, P A is 10, that's important because that gives us this point right here, and so on the producer side, the gains of trade are the difference between 10 and 15, so that would be 5, that's the first part of it, if you're writing out all of your, all of your steps. Uh, and then the, the consumer surplus will be the difference between here and here. Okay, so I need to find PB. So PB is 22, and so that's going to be 7. Okay, so it's just 5 from the producer side, 7 from the consumer side equals 12. 12 is the answer, okay? Um, you could also, because we're using the equilibrium price, you could just say what's the difference between 22 and 10. That's That would give you the total gains of trade. If you were just looking for what the consumer's side gains of trade are, just go from the demand curve down to the uh, equilibrium price. And if you're just looking for the producer side, go from the supply curve up to the equilibrium price. Okay, And then P4, uh, all the way up on the top there. Um, Oh, I'm sorry, that's P1. P1 is 25. Okay, so total gains of trade. You're going to looking for the total triangle out to the equilibrium price, but if you're looking for gains of trade of a specific unit, just find that unit, and then it's the difference between uh, the value that the consumers place on the product and the value that the sellers will be willing to sell.